Hello, my friends. This is Jeannie. I want to share a small purchase that I made um, while at the Target store today. I dropped by the Target store to pick up a birthday gift for my niece who will be celebrating a birthday this Saturday. We're all excited about that. Um, while I was there, I dropped into the dollar spot or dollar zone and uh, picked up a few items and I thought I would share those with you. Um, I picked up these sets of rickrack trims. You get five counts. It was three dollars. And you get two yards um, in each um, color. So they had two sets that I saw. This one has a kind of dark pink, a light pink, a gold, an ivory, and a white. So that for $3, I thought that was a pretty good deal. Then they had um, a second set, and this one has um, a white, kind of like a sky blue, a silver, an off-white, and a dark navy blue. Okay, and actually this one is called... This one is actually called Navy. Navy Rick Rack. Oh no. Silly me. That's the color. Navy. Silly. So each one has a color. Let's see. We have Navy. And it just goes on with the different colors. I won't pull it out. But um, for $3, um, you know, five different colors, three yards of each. I thought that was a pretty good deal. I mean, two yards of each. So I pick that up. I found some super cute um, erasers. And I thought I would film them before I give them to my little one. She's going to love these. I found these ice cream novelty erasers. How cute are these? These are absolutely adorable. Uh, my little one's going to love these. And you get five for a dollar. So I know she's going to love that. She'll probably give them all to her friends, which is okay. She's a doll. She's she's just a sweet, generous little soul. Everything um, she has, she loves to share. She's always taking stuff to school and giving it to um, her friends, especially the ones that she say. She she always says to me, you know, she'll come home. So-and-so had a really tough day today, Mommy. I think I should bring something tomorrow to cheer them up and it's usually nothing big like a little sticker or a little eraser or a little shocking or something you know she's she's a doll she's an absolute doll so i also found these mini erasers um and these are of um different types of cactus so yeah let's see if i can open maybe i hope you can see better without the glare can you see there you go. So I thought these were really cute. You get a nice variety. I thought these would be cute for pocket letters. So I got that and that was $1. I picked up another eraser set. Oh, here it is. She's going to love this. Look at this. This is a skateboard eraser set. How cute is this? I know exactly what she's going to use this for. She's going to use these to um, for her Shopkins. She's going to be riding around her little Shopkins on these things. I don't know if, the, if they're working wheels. Probably not. But she's going to have fun with these. And you get three for a dollar. So I thought that was pretty sweet. I think she's going to love that. Um, I found washi. And the washi, at first I thought it was a good deal. I mean, you get three rows for... Uh, three dollars and I got two packs I got this style which is a nautical theme right and I got this kind of watercolor theme uh, set okay and like I said you get three packs for three dollars but if you open these up and I forget which one I opened up maybe it was this one yeah it was this one if you open these up, you really don't get a lot of washi. That's not a lot of washi. I mean, for a dollar, because it's essentially what you're paying for, a dollar each. I mean, it's cute, but you don't get a lot of washi for a dollar. 
So I don't know that I would necessarily pick these up again. Um, you get a total of... Okay, so you get a total of nine yards. So three yards of washi in each row for a dollar. Is that a good deal? What do you think? Let me know down below. I'd be interested in opinions. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I just don't think you get a lot for a dollar. Um, but maybe it's, you know, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. <laughs> <laughs> but you know it is pretty and I got I got these two uh, packs so super super cute I picked up um, <clears throat> a couple of banner kits I thought this was a good deal for three dollars for three dollars I got this one they're both nautical theme well one is nautical theme and the other one is more uh, kind of America like 4th of July theme but um, this is a pretty cool kit okay you get 41 pieces and you also get um, a string which I think it says it's 120 inches long the string but what I like about this kit and there's an idea of how you can put it together what I liked about this kit is that the pieces themselves are not paper it's almost like a it's a chipboard right it's not a super thick chipboard but it's definitely better than paper you know it's better than paper that's for sure because at first I thought it was paper and I thought mm, you know that's not gonna last very long I don't know what I you know I'm gonna have to be too careful for that I don't know with it I don't know if it will work in pocket letters or flip books because it's just too flimsy but it's actually a pretty decent quality um, I'm glad I got it. Um, and so with this particular kit, you got a whale, an anchor, and two, uh, different color stars, and you get the, 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 um, string. So for $3, I thought that was a pretty good deal. And I also got it in this style. Okay. And it's the same material. So I thought this would be good for 4th of July themed projects so I got that I picked up these anchor tags you get four tags for one dollar I thought that was a pretty good deal and these would really be cool for, for um, cards I don't know that this would fit in a pocket for a uh, pocket letter um, but it would work for flipbook, but most I think it worked better for cards if you were making cards for your summer birthdays, like your June, July, August birthdays. I thought that would be really cute. I picked up this glitter sticker set. I had pocket letter in mine. So and this was one dollar. I also picked up this sticker set, Fourth of July sticker set. Uh, one dollar. I picked up some um, uh, um, cello bags, 20 for a dollar. That's a pretty good deal. And these were more, again, like, you know, red, white, and blue theme, 4th of July theme. So I thought that would be good for the packages I sent out during that time. And um, I picked up these nautical theme tags, paper tags. You get eight tags, and I believe it's one dollar. One dollar. Eight tags, one dollar. So, all in all, you know, a small purchase, but uh, I'm glad with the items that I got, and I think I can definitely use them. And, you know, whatever I don't use, I'll just drop in my, my box of um, goodies that um, I give away. That box seems to be growing and growing and growing. So if you're in the Target store, check out um, their dollar zone. They had a lot of other things that I didn't pick up. They had a stationary, they had stationary sets. They had a lot of really cute um, straws, packets of straws. I don't um, know really how to craft with straws, what I would use them for. So I didn't pick any of those up. They had... Um, 
other sticker sheets and sets that I didn't pick up. They had other banner kits that I didn't pick up. They had twinkling lights um, in the nautical theme. Um, paper clips. They had other bags, other cello bags, other than the other than the one that I picked up. So, um, I don't know. I haven't been watching a lot of Target spot hauls here on YouTube lately. So, I don't know if I'm kind of late to the game. This stuff has already been out. Or, um, if I just lucked out and happened to be there when they just put the new stuff in. But either way, I thought I would share it. So... Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Um, working on a couple of projects. I recently started, like I said, I recently started making um, stick pins. Um, and I've um, been working on that. So, and I'll show you quickly uh, one that my very first stick pin, my very first stick pin, it's not even glued. Um, my very first stick pin. And I think I'm going to go with this one. I took this apart and put it back together so many times and rearranged beads and changed things around until I was finally happy with it. But I think I'm happy with this. And so I think I might go ahead and glue it and make it permanent. I'm also thinking of maybe hanging a, a charm from either here or up here. I'm thinking down here. I think if I hang it from up here, it's going to be too top heavy. Um, if I hang it from here, I think it, I think it might work. I'm not sure. So what do you think? It'll be a tiny charm. I don't even know what kind of charm yet, but I think it'll look kind of silly hanging from the top. Maybe the bottom is the way to go. I don't know. And I'm also trying to figure out, I, re I saw someone, um, I forget who it was here on YouTube. Um, did a video where she was uh, showing a stick pin tutorial and she used these spacers in between her beads that had like a little they're spacer beads with a, like a little charm holder a uh, little loopy thing very technical term <laughs> that um, is on the side of the spacer that you can actually hang a charm off of and I thought those were really, really cute, but I just don't know where to purchase anything like that. So if anyone has any ideas of where I can find something like that, I would appreciate um, uh, a comment down below with some suggestions. I don't shop at Hobby Lobby. Um, just FYI, pers for personal reasons, I don't shop at Hobby Lobby. Um, my shopping places are uh, Joann's or uh, Michael's and even Joann's. I haven't been to a Joann's in forever. It's usually just Michael's or Tuesday morning. So if you know any Etsy shops or maybe somewhere on eBay, I don't even know what you would call those things. Um, <laughs> um, any any information, any leads would be greatly appreciated. And any leads too on, on the, the stick pins. Um, these things are not as cheap as I thought they would be. They're kind of pricey. So I'm looking on a better price for um, these stick pins. I like longer stick pins. I think this is actually a hat pin, six inches long. I got like six of them. I found it on Amazon. It was like six of them, but um, they were a little pricey. Um, I'd like to get more this size, um, maybe a bulk purchase um, that won't cost an arm and a leg. So I'm thinking at least three inches. I would like them to be at least three three inches um, or longer. So any ideas or suggestions, recommendations, greatly appreciate it. Okay, guys, thank you so, so much for tolerating my chit chat <laughs> and for taking the time to watch my videos. I truly do appreciate it. And um, hopefully you'll visit me again. Until next time. Bye-bye.